So it's Vince and Macho opening the show by themselves. Tonight we have Virgil versus Bam Bam Bigelow. The Steiner Brothers versus the Beverly Brothers. And Jerry Lawler makes his in-ring debut. At the time, I was tickled that Randy Macho Man Savage, one of Jerry Lawler's hottest rivals from Memphis, was the one to introduce him here on Raw. Mm-hmm. And it turned out that was much more than just a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a nod to the hardcore fan. It turned out to be a big thing by the end of the show. Relatively speaking, I suppose. Virgil versus Bam Bam Bigelow. This was the shittiest fucking match. So when this began... Hold on. Hold uh, on a second. Hold on. We, we got we to gotta do the big picture video. We can talk about the moves. Dude. You remember that match you had with, with uh, uh, Stoney Edwards? You do, clearly. You remember it? I do. I remember. Okay. You remember how bad it was? Uh, rotten. But it was better than this. It was fucking so much better than this, Vinny. A hundred times better than this. I don't think I ever saw you have a match that was even, like, twice as good as this match. Let me think about this. I think every match you had in your career was at least four times better than this match here. I'm trying to think. If I ever had one that was for sure worse than this. There was one time when Big Said was supposed to throw a clothesline, and he forgot the spot, but I took a bump anyway. That, may that have, happens all the time. I may, it may have been worse than this. It's the no. only one I can think of. This match was so unbelievably bad. And even worse, it just kept going. I think that Virgil's not doing cameos right now because he's still working this match. Hmm. It was a fucking atrocity. Somebody just asked me the other day, like, has there ever been a match on TV as bad as... I can't remember what match it was, but the answer is this one. This was fucking trash. And Bam Bam Bigelow was in there. Yes! It was all Virgil's fault, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was so unbelievably Tell me more. horrible in this match. Like, horrible. Yeah. So, when this started, I thought to myself, I bet this is not as good as The Undertaker versus Bam Bam Bigelow from the March of WrestleMania. And by the end, I was certain it was not as good as The Undertaker versus Giant Gonzalez from WrestleMania. That, that match was, was much better than this match. Much better than this Much one. better. His drop kicks were horrible. His elbows were horrible. Crowd was telling him he sucks. He did drop kicks and elbows. He attempted. <laughs> he actually. Tried, I guess he actually did a top rope drop kick at one time. But of right, course he missed it before he it. fell off. Yeah, the first time he literally just fell off. He climbed to the top rope and just fe- climbed to the top rope and just fell off onto Bam Bam. He did a baseball slide that may have been the one worse than the one Rob Van Dam did when he broke his leg. Mm-hmm. Um, even the announcer was like, "God, he didn't slide very far on that." <laughs> They're pushing the story. They are pushing the story that Lex Luger knocked out Bret Hart with a metal elbow, like on breakfast at WrestleMania day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no consequences for jeopardizing the WrestleMania main event. That gave him an out to lose the title. They're discussing Rob Bartlett. He is still stuck in Vegas. He lost everything. And Vince says he. he, he I'm, I hear he lost everything. And Savage says, "Oh, he lost a dollar and twenty-two cents." Savage was awesome on this show. Uh, if he makes it back next week, he's going to come via bus. This was on for a long fucking time. I forgot how terrible this was and how long it was. This was a seven-minute match. Uh, Impossible. No, it was seven minutes. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It he, should have been like two. It so was he, 30. He fucks up the up and over in the corner where you do like the jump. You run in the corner and jump and the guy jump, runs under you. He fucks that up and Bam Bam just swats him away and he's had enough. He just stares at him in disgust. Mm-hmm. And he hits like a lariat and the head button wins. This was horrendous. <laughs> it's like, I think this had to be the worst match we've seen on any of these Raws so far. I can't think of one worse. That Bushwhacker. And we've seen a lot of Damien Repo Demento. Man, Damien Demento. That one was pretty fucking That was pretty horrible. Too, but I think this was worse. <laughs> it may have been. I'm not, I'd I'm have not, to go back I'm not check. saying it's not. Remember that one time Richie Magnus said, hey, whatever you're doing with your hands, stop that, Vinny? I do, yes, yes. Yep, yep. Virgil did not get the memo. Bro, hold on a second. Remember when Richie said, Vinny, whatever it is with you're doing with your hand, never do it again? Yes. At least he was only talking about your hand. Yes. <laughs> whatever Virgil was doing with every part of his fucking body, never do it again. No, these jabs that he Golly, was throwing Golly, were... G. Willikers, horrible. These punches he was throwing were... There were no punches horrendous. in this match. There were. No, there weren't. He just flip-flopped his hands around. <sighs> God, this was bad. I don't have the words. And the next match wasn't a whole lot better. Did you mind it, Brian, when Damien Demento... Oh, I minded this match. ...came out to wrestle 
of all people. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the opposite of a dream match? Damien Demento versus Jumpin' Jim Brunzel. <laughs> yes. In 1993. You know, see, there were a lot of storylines. My jaw. <laughs> there were a lot of stories Vince needed to tell, and he didn't want you distracted by this wrestling. Well, I was distracted then by Rob Bartlett calling in <laughs> from, I guess, a bus station in Las Vegas, begging yeah, he Vince. In, he was calling from the Motel 6, which... Which Savage goes, yeah, more like uh, uh, Hotel Two and a Half. <laughs> That's what he said. Who knew Macho Man could do dad jokes? <laughs> so <laughs> Rob starts to beg Vince. I, I got my paycheck and blew it all the tables, Vince. I need some money. Actually, the first thing he goes is, I, I tried to cash your check, but it bounced. And Vince goes, it did? <laughs> As if he deliberately sent him a bad check. Yeah. And, and then Bartlett ruins his own joke by going, no, I just spent it all. Yeah, he blew it all the tables. And, so and, did, and, and Vince was just a commentator. He wasn't actually the owner right now, right? Well, he could have been in charge of payroll and storyline. Uh, I see. Yeah. So uh, he begins to beg Vince for more money. Vince claims the bad connection. As the phone call continues, where there's no bad connection, Vince says, oh, it's getting worse and worse. So Rob is explaining how he went broke. He says, I got a system for blackjack. I double down on six. <laughs> now, Rob's performance as Vince in that one show was his funniest show, but that right there may have been his funniest line, if you know anything about blackjack. As this is going on, I feel the need to remind the listeners we're watching Jumping Jim Brunzel. <laughs> no, we weren't. Fight Damien Demento. We were not watching this match. Oh, I was me. watching. I was watching. No. As they began to battle over arm ringers, this is not Cody Chun and Jonathan Gresham. It's Jim Brunzel and Damien Demento. And this show is so horrible, I just started uncontrollably giggling. <laughs> Like a small child is beside myself, snickering and pointing at the screen. <laughs> Arm ringers. <laughs> it's like, it's God. Jim Brunzel. It's the Marty Genetti of the Killer Bees and the Marty Genetti of the High Flyers. I'm watching him on Raw in 1993, exchanging holds with Damien Demento. The whole thing's so absurdly awful. All I could do is laugh. But it goes to your point. I would watch this episode of Monday Night Raw five times in a row before a new episode of NXT 2.0. That show makes me angry and wow. sad. This show made me laugh. Maybe we need Vince on commentary for NXT 2.0. This is just bad wrestling matches. Well, the There's... match wasn't even, like, bad. I mean, it was... Oh, well, it, it was better than Virgil. Yeah, it was just, like, a horribly boring match. And then all of a sudden, Damian Demento just leaps in the air and hits the, the most generic, lame knee, and then pins him. Okay. I was like, that's your finish, had, Damian Demento? I had to go back and check. Okay, I actually got something out of this match. Demento actually adjusts his knee pad like he's loading it. Yes. Before he drops the knee. Yes. So he's a demented guy that's... Did, uh, whatever. He's still a cheater. Yes. Mm, yeah. Bad. It came so out of nowhere. I had to go back and see what happened. Was, yeah, I was confused. Because Jim Brunzel hit his drop kick, and God bless the guy. As the Iron Sheet noted, he's a great athlete, a great high jumper. But uh, his drop kick was like once the best that's, in the world. That's why he's jumping. And it was in 1993. It had been surpassed. Like I'm sure. I'm sure. In the 1950s, there was a guy with a two-handed set shot that was the best shooter in the world. But now we have Steph Curry, so we don't have to watch that guy anymore. Anyway, this sucked. <laughs> I'm your host, Brian Alvarez, joined, of course, by Big Vinny V. Hi, Brian. Craig. Hello. Lance Storm. Is that a towel? Craig, uh, legit looks like Julius Caesar. Yeah, I did my, my hair down. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Seems like we got a lion loose in, in uh, Lance's house, coincidentally. Yeah. <laughs> Is Lance, that a Lance, puma? Lance brought the yeah. jungle beast. Was hoping Bridge would come along to either feed me these grapes or wave me with one of those big fans. But when I suggested this, she was surprisingly negative. What? Why? Didn't like that idea one bit. Why? Oh my God, Vinny! Please mm. make sure you take that outfit to Hawaii and get video of you running down the beach in it. Oh, bro, oh. this thing's going everywhere with me. It's awesome. All right, here we go. I couldn't take a big one. Ah. Uh. Mm. 
Excuse me. Look who's here. Vinny, hand her them grapes. I have the greatest wife. She's going to give me a couple of grapes, not too many. I'm on a low-carb diet. <laughs> like all Romans. <laughs> have you ever eaten a grape before? It's not alive. I've never fed a grape. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. I'll take one more. No, I won't. Oh, God, she's really... Hey! One more. Fuck it off! Hey, we're not having a food fight in here. God damn it. <laughs> Grapes all over the floor. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.